Can you show me how you do it? Um, my body shape was here, and I'm just trying to... Right, that's if what I'm, If I'm on offense, I'm trying to... Yeah, so they're going to come in and try and yes. control it, like just kind yes. of sing it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. How, how does that feel? I felt good. I mean, I felt fine. That reminded me of uh, playing against Shaq. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <Ready>? All right. <laughs> On my waist, oh, not sorry. my ribs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Yep. <sighs> Pretty rare fighter up here, Jason. You ready to come down? Ready to come down. <sighs> Hi, Julius here from Heaven Man Earth Perth, Tai Chi School. So we're going to have a look at a fascinating clip from the film The Power of Chi which unfortunately doesn't seem to be available anymore. The filmmakers seem to have taken it down for whatever reason. So this is a clip with uh, Adam Meisner, the uh, Sifu of the Heaven Man Earth International School, pushing and playing around a little bit with uh, a very large man in Jason Collins, uh, ex-NBA basketball player. I, and it's very interesting how Adam is able to neutralize his force and uproot him and move him. And just bear in mind as you watch it, I mean, it's kind of obvious, you don't need me to tell you, but uh, when you try to push with someone, even the same size as you, when they don't let you, it's very difficult to move them, let alone someone who's uh, about 70 kilos heavier than Adam, <laughs> which is like, almost a, well, it is a person's weight extra, so it's like the weight of two people. Um, so let's meet Jason. Jason Collins is seven feet tall, weighs 330 pounds. He played 13 seasons in the NBA, and played a significant role in the New Jersey Nets' first ever NBA Finals berth against the LA Lakers. He was a physical player, defending the post and box well. In 2014, he was featured on the cover of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World. Okay. Hold yeah. No! <laughs> it's definitely too much for him. <laughs> it's a lot of leverage. <laughs> yeah, I got long arms for leverage. Yeah. Ready? So Jason's talking about leverage, but it's not actually leverage that Adam Meisner is using. It's just that action. He has the capability to disperse force throughout his whole body. So this is a quality of Tai Chi known as Pung or fullness, so once you achieve this level of fullness, which takes many years of dedicated training of the correct internal methods, this fullness arises, and at that point when somebody touches your body or force comes upon you, it gets dispersed through the whole body everywhere evenly, which is a, a very strange quality that we just don't have. It it's just comes as a result of the training. Talking about in basketball, yes. being there when they put force on. Yes, exactly. Like even if you have it against my body and you push, yeah. it's not quite there. Yeah. You were really good at that. So this is interesting because you saw Jason's history there. You know, he was a, a uh, successful NBA player. So he would be very used to being able to push people around. <laughs> you know, he obviously had to do it with... Uh, huge skillful basketball players so in life it would be very difficult for him to be pushed and he would he would be very uh used to <laughs> overpowering people um and he's being a great sport here he's uh, accepting it very well but i i know that feeling that he's feeling now it's quite confusing when you touch adam and you try to push on him it's just uh your whole nervous system just becomes confused. We just don't know this experience and we have no frame of reference for it. So it's very unusual. Something that I used to do against my brother 
is sometimes uh, who can push who, whom, without fouling, back, you know, behind a line kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Mm, that's a strike. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> In the sport of basketball, the most um, hand-to-hand combat is going for a rebound. When the ball is up off the backboard, and it's sort of anybody's ball. Okay. And it comes down to, <laughs> actually, if you can do subtle stuff like pushing someone just to, out of their way, getting them off their center. Yeah. Before they're about to Before you know, they go up, and then you go up and get the ball. Yeah. Um, a lot of that happens. Uh, one of the best rebounders ever, Dennis Rodman, was great at that. But when you did that, sort of just getting me going this way, as opposed to up, that's, that's what you want, your opponent. You want them to go somewhere on the ground not going up. Can you show me how you do it? Um, my body shape was here, and I'm just trying to... Right, that's if what I'm, If I'm on offense, I'm trying to... Yeah, so they're going to come in and try and yes. control it, like this kind yes. of thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. How, yeah. How does that feel? I felt good. I mean, I felt fine. That reminded me of uh, playing against Shaq. <laughs> on my waist, oh, on my sorry. ribs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Yep. <sighs> Pretty rare fighter up here, Jason. You ready to come down? Ready to come down. Here's an example of energy manipulation. The power of the force is such that the touch of one finger can sufficiently affect another person's strength that they can no longer perform to their normal capabilities. <laughs> really good at that. Uh, this film has Adam doing this kind of thing with a uh, pro NFL player, a world strongman, uh, Olympic fencer, and some others as well. Uh, and just something to be noted for uh, the naysayers because there are a lot of naysayers online and uh, in the external martial arts who think this kind of stuff is rubbish and very understandably so for two reasons. One, most Tai Chi is empty of this kind of skill. It should be in Tai Chi but uh, I've done other styles and I've been around other Tai Chi and a lot of it is empty of this cultivation of the chi. So in the end, it just becomes loose mechanical movement or loose and fast. So it's not really any different to um, other martial art, just that they don't train fighting, so, so it's worse. <laughs> um, so in that sense, very understandable. And then the other reason is that we literally have no frame of reference for what this is. We can't even imagine it. It's something that requires transformation over time with diligence to cultivate this, this uh, changing inside the body, a changing of the tissues, this developing of the tendons, uh, a letting go of, of this contraction, of this uh, kind of addiction we have to contracting the muscles to create power or to respond to force. So it's very understandable that this makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> And the rare few people, I mean, rare few that can do this, um, it looks fake because they're not using those usual ways of generating force and power that we have known our whole life. All we know, it's something other than that that is very rare. So, so yeah, I understand why it's unbelievable. Um, and to any of those kind of people, I always just say, go and touch hands with Adam or go and touch hands with some of his seniors. Go and feel it. Because the only way you can really know it is to have a direct experience of it. So everything else is hearsay or assumption, which is always going to be based in your paradigm, which is your frame of reference of physical movement and force and uh, mechanics and physics. This is something different. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that reminded me of 
uh, playing a good shot. <laughs> so that's pretty amazing that pushing with someone 70 kilos lighter than him reminded him of pushing with someone bigger than him, which is Shaq, you know, a huge legend from NBA. So, you know, this guy's a pro or ex-pro NBA player. And uh, in his opinion, that felt like pushing with Shaq. So it just shows that this fullness of chi generates a different kind of power and a bigger kind of power. You know, it's a big power for someone Adam's size and weight in comparison to someone Jason's size and weight. It's, it's, a, it's a bigger, fuller power with less of the hard contracting effort. So it's interesting stuff. Uh, there's links below in the description if you're interested to check out how to cultivate this kind of internal power and skill for yourself. Uh, Adam has his online course, Discover Tai Chi, an amazing online meditation course called Discover Mind. And then there's also branch schools around who teach his system. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again.